let's discuss a problem on finding moment of inertia of a solid the problem is find the moment of inertia of a sphere or uniform spherical ball of mass m and radius a about a diameter let rho be the density and m be the mass volume of the sphere is 4/3 pi a cube so mass becomes 4/3 pi a cube into rho let the center of the sphere be at origin then the sphere will be symmetric about all the three coordinate axes its region v can be described by minus root a square minus x square minus y square less than or equal to z less than or equal to plus root a square minus x square minus y square and minus a root a square minus x square less than or equal to y less than or equal to plus root a square minus x square minus a less than or equal to x less than or equal to a because of symmetry moment of inertia about a diameter it can be moment of inertia about x axis y axis or z axis in particular we are taking z axis here so moment of inertia about z axis or ij is equal to triple integral over v rho times x square plus y square into dz dy dx writing the limits it is rho times integral x is equal to minus a to plus a integral y is equal to minus root a square minus x square to plus root a square minus x square integral z is equal to minus root a square minus x square minus y square to plus root a square minus x square minus y square of x square plus y square into dz dy dx initially we integrate with respect to z integral dz becomes z so the integral becomes rho a into integral x is equal to minus a to plus a integral y is equal to minus root a square minus x square to plus root a square minus x square of x square plus y square into z z is to be evaluated at the two limits mentioned earlier and then dy dx when you substitute the limits for z we get 2 rho into integral x is equal to minus a to plus a integral y is equal to minus root a square minus x square to plus root a square minus x square of x square plus y square into square root of a square minus x square minus y square dy dx let us introduce polar coordinates here what is the reason because the region here is that of a circle x square plus y square is equal to a square so we replace x by r cos theta y by r sin theta dx dy by r dr d theta limits for r and theta will be 0 less than or equal to r less than or equal to a 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi so that iz becomes 2 rho into integral theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi integral r is equal to 0 to a r square into root of a square minus r square r d r d theta the inner integral can be evaluated easily by introducing a trigonometric substitution so in the inner integral let us put small r is equal to a sin phi so dr becomes a cos phi d phi root a square minus r square becomes a cos phi when r is 0 phi is 0 when r is equal to a phi is equal to pi by 2 so that iz now becomes 2 rho into integral theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi integral phi is equal to 0 to pi by 2 we have got r square into r means r cube is there so it becomes a cube sin cube phi in place of root a square minus r square you get a cos phi in in place of dr you get a cos phi d phi and then d theta 
now you can observe it as 2 rho e to the power 5 integral theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi integral phi is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin cube phi cos square phi d phi and then d theta the inner integral that is integration with respect to phi whatever we are having it represents the beta function multiplied by an appropriate constant in fact this is of the form integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 cos theta to the power of 2n minus 1 d theta or sin theta sin phi to the power 2m minus 1 cos phi to the power of 2n minus 1 d phi so it becomes half beta m plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 so that the integral i z becomes 2 rho e to the power 5 integral theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi of half beta 3 plus 1 divided by 2 2 plus 1 divided by 2 d theta this beta function is now expressed in terms of gamma functions we know that beta m comma n is equal to gamma m into gamma n divided by gamma m plus n so that after cancelling 1 2 in the numerator and denominator we get rho a to the power 5 into gamma 2 into gamma 3 by 2 divided by gamma of 2 plus 3 by 2 and then multiplied by integral 0 to 2 pi d theta theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi d theta gamma 2 means 1 gamma 3 by 2 means half gamma half or half into root pi because gamma half is root pi denominator we have got gamma 7 by 2 it is 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 into root pi so that i z becomes rho a to the power 5 into 1 into half root pi divided by 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into root pi multiplied by theta evaluated at 0 and 2 pi theta evaluated 0 and 2 pi means it becomes 2 pi so after little simplification we get 8 pi a to the power 5 by 15 into rho or using the expression for m we get a 2 fifth 2 by 5 of m a square.